The Galactic Free Press Update. Peace, Disclosure, and Contact. Bringing humanity home. Energy and event update. With love from the Galactic Center. Greetings, love beings. We just went through the fiery new moon of Aries. Woo! The truth of love is on fire and is spreading contagiously. The intense energies continue for April, and we are moving fast. Major shifting is also occurring, and truth is on the move. This momentum of energy will build all of this month and ignite us into May. This new moon in a fire sign is all about the new and surprises, both personally and globally. Doors are closing, and new ones are quickly opening. These next 24 hours will be incredibly intense energetically for everybody on the planet. We will be shifting gears forward. We have moved in, into such an intense period of light. It's truly over for the denser energies. Quoted from Lucy, This particular new moon that marks the start of something entirely new the Aries moon cycle brings in an overload of new and sudden impulses, pushing the individual self into unknown territory, and the many sudden impulses are not to be taken lightly because they might even cause a big shake-up on a personal level as well. This is a time to expect the unexpected and to practice alertness as we get bombarded by much more irritation than usual. One star, the sun, plus four planets, are dominant in Mars' home sign, and this powerful Aries stellium is like an unstoppable force rushing rec recklessly towards its aim. End of quote. And quoted from the Plidian Renegades. The beginnings of big change are kicking into gear now. You will be aware of that as the sun starts to shine a little differently and as the earth begins to groan in her birth pains. If you are not comfortable with such visceral imagery, think of it as repositioning of pressure to allow for a smooth transition of something quite earth-shattering to come into being, so that the generation of life can continue without the limitations of darkness pressing in on every side. Gold will lose its shimmer when you realize that the bottom of the barrel has been reached. In terms of the ability of the commercial enterprises of the global marketplace to sustain the game any longer. We have spoken to you before the day that the game of Mogul becomes replaced by the game of dream creation. And that day is on the edge of dawning, dear people of Earth. The pieces are falling into place just as the game board is tipping to one side. And winner takes all will be tumbling into a pit before the winnings can be interred for later enjoyment. The fact is, the time is upon you to take the initiative further than ever in spinning the checkerboard so you have a better view of what's heating up on the horizon. If you can manage it, a big push together in the direction of love of humanity in all its forms could just get things situated so you can get the full picture. The days and weeks ahead are promising to be full of the potential of great and deep change for this planet. And so it is time to share the next tidbit of information with you as well. And that is, we are already with you. And the changes that are coming will be a big shock to many. But the truth is, we are in the secret silence of service every day. And there is none more in readiness to join in the general change than we. The light will soon shift into a higher gear of intensity and concentration of form, and the appearance in the sky of fine shimmers of radiance will be side by side with great blasts of cosmic energy. We are here, and we are ready to be of service. You will see the changes coming to the earth in ways that what had been is no more, and the ground below your feet may start to move or rumble. We are here, and the changers are a part of our service. When you see things seeming to fall apart, 
No, that we are part of the new world coming into being, as midwives and as helpers. It is enough that things will be moving along rapidly without worrying about doing it all on your own. But we are not here to interfere in the process that you have. As a people and a planetary entity worked so long to reach the culmination of, and you have arrived at the entry point of the moment of lifetimes. We will answer any call for help that we are able to participate in until the time comes for our full participation, opening sanctioned by general agreement among all parties involved. Until then, know that we are here. Know that life will survive and that light will prevail in the long time of shadows and secrets. You have not come this far to be found wanting for your circuitous route to understanding, knowledge, and discovery has brought you into the state of awareness of many more mysteries than you could have ever imagined yourselves, approaching even a short time ago. More mysteries await your discovery, and more rewarding shores shall open to your entry. Be at peace with the unfolding of the universe, for it does, in fact, know what it's doing. Let fear not be a part of the equation, and let love become part of your entire picture. End of quote. And quoted from Montague King. Everything is going according to plan. The timing is right for these changes to take place. You will restore the light. Humanity will become one. Everyone part of the whole, with no more divisions or separations. Peace will be restored. This is your purpose. End of quote. And quoted from Carolyn K.A. We ask for patience. The light is coming. It is already here. And there is no stopping it now. During this period of your awakening, there will be ups and downs. Moments of pause, followed by energized acceleration. And we again ask you to remain balanced and centered within the heart of Gaia and within your own hearts as well. Find peace within. It is there you will find perfect alignment with the truth and it will greatly help you in the simulation of change and rapid awakening that is now upon you. End of quote. The first waivers, the love beings, are now gathering together and connecting to the higher grid, which creates an intense energy of light across this planet. Where two or more are gathered, there is love. This is how the inevitable awakening of this planet is occurring. You see, it only required two in full consciousness to ignite the entire consciousness on this planet. The higher grid is alive. This occurred when Father God and I went through the transfiguration event to create a unified field of energy, which is the twin flame connection of 5D frequencies. Once this, this event occurred in January of 2008, the rest is history. This is why all events we have shared are inevitable, no matter how hard the denser energies try to resist. Quoted from Alana Kettler, we are living in such amazing times. We get to watch as the whole world transitions back to a healthy, connected relationship with our Mother Earth, as well as each other. Let's keep this snowball going and continue working together, because together we will continue to create this change that we have been waiting for. If there is ever a time where you feel like giving up, just remember that there are many many, many more people who are finally opening their eyes. Don't give up, because this global shift is happening right now, right before your eyes. We are the ones we've been waiting for. End of quote. In our last update, we announced we felt the releasing of the movie Sirius by Dr. Stephen Greer would really provide us a huge opening for the movement of the light on this planet and propel us towards full disclosure, brought by all of us. We have more exciting news with this. 
Dr. Stephen Greer has accepted to do a 30-minute interview with the Earth Allies, the first contact ground crew team at the Galactic Free Press. Yeehaw! He will be connecting with us on the grid to share with us the latest movement and to promote the movie. This will be occurring shortly after the release on April 22nd and hopefully before the citizens' hearing on disclosure on April 29th. This connection is extremely significant as it truly represents not only another aspect of the divine plan unfoldment, but connects the light in more grander ways. This seals the deal now and will propel us, propel us for all truth to be revealed and full contact. Quoted from Aline Lafont. The first contacts with us become ever more real and truthful due to the way you are evolving now. Gigantic leaps have been taken by the collective, partly thanks to the numerous lightworkers who never gave up hope, remaining in their power, and who continued passionately, creating a strong basis for cooperation. We say to you, thank you. All those ones who have kept working so profoundly deep and who persevered with their missions. It will all really be worth your while. This is generally understood and known. We are approaching full contact and are working tirelessly on the possible effects that they will have on your collective world. We explicitly take every one of you into, into account. We also take the collective of humanity, still holding dormant souls, into account. Rest assured that the time does not stand still, and this applies also to our actions and the energies we all invest in this together with all of you. A consensus has already been reached on the scope of our language and of ourselves towards you and what we shall bring and offer to your planet. The first thing we gladly would bring is an offer of love and peace for your entire planet. This applies to everyone and everything, and it is our greatest conviction that the hearts of humanity will be most grateful for this and really wouldn't want anything else on this planet. Nevertheless, this is our biggest concern and requires lots of energy, as still up to this day, there are too many disputes over power and ego, over separation. Omnius warmongering is still on the table, and that is totally unacceptable. It can no longer be tolerated in your current and higher world. It has to do with the very last dormant souls who still dwell in their delusion, but who will be shaken up quite boisterously. Be thankful for who you are and for what you have already experienced, seen and felt so far. Be grateful for knowing and helping one another, for cherishing each other and for cooperating together. There is nothing as wondrous as what is to now take place on this beloved Gaia. Behold the blessing and the opportunity in everything as it is an extremely blessed and special process. Admittedly, the global ascension and the reformation of your world is a rather difficult and harsh school of learning, but it will all be worth it in the end. You are truly the pioneers of ascension. You are the new world leaders, all of you as one. You are now a more pure and clear collective unit with all your aspects and your being. You bring renovations to this world. You bring this world out of duality. So go ahead. Wait no longer. Get out of your lazy chairs on which you have adopted a waiting pose and see the world as it is. Declare your own freedom. Embody your true self once again and step forward into the world of manifestation and of multidimensional being. Do not delay any longer as we can only wait for you to be ready, pushing yourselves into full consciousness and into your higher reality. We are present with you and for you. Together, we will work and build on the manifestation of a new world. This is what you are currently doing 
and the time is right. Let us tear down the last vestiges of duality. Wait no longer, but take action. Do not wait for the messages nor for the messengers to do it for you. Be realistic and look from your heart to find out how far things have evolved. Help where necessary. Use your talents and enrichments and avail yourselves of your wonderful energy and light to assist all this and guiding it to a blissful and perfect, perfect outcome for the entire collective of humanity. You are so close and we are near to all of you. This is a fact and not a fiction. It only pertains to understanding and viewing things from a different stance from your heart and your inner core and not from the outer world, nor from scenes playing out there. It is from within that we attune and adjust. It is from within that we extract all of our knowledge and where we duly find ourselves. Be brave and excel in your task at hand, for they are very significant and they play an important part. We supervise your safety and that of Gaia but we also keep on working with trust in our hearts on our first real contacts with all of you. Ultimately, this is all in your hands. Quoted from Meredith Murphy. I'm seeing how liberating energy from beyond the veil creates the opportunity for greater communion and communication with star beings of light. This reconnection has been long awaited by many present on the earth plane who are well aware of their connection to the stars and by their corresponding star families who have been impulsing and initiating this communication across the corridors of time, anticipating this great opening. The establishment of the fifth dimensional plane of peace is creating a new space in which these communications can be connected and in which that which is transmitted may be perceived the bridging of the energy from beyond the veil from various star locations committed and actively involved in the Earth's planetary ascension progress. Transmission that are not yet able to directly reach most beings on Earth can be received here, and many, many more beings on Earth are spending their sleep time and other moments throughout their day embodying the frequency of the fifth dimensional plane of peace the emerging fifth dimensional new earth, which has been established. There's an incredible energy of joy on the plate of peace that is created by these great reunions. Many who long for disclosure, for a public, highly visible disclosure of the star beings who are participating in planetary ascension, will be fed by participating in the fifth dimensional energy plane of peace in ways that will sustain them and answer their questions and longings about how to fully embody and represent as an ambassador, as an emissary, the star communities which they spring forth from in a way which gives their life great purpose and focus. Full disclosure of our relationship to our star families is happening. It is happening in an individual connections as those who are present on the earth plane are ready to receive expanded knowledge of their own multidimensional lineage and guidance and instruction to help them remember what they know on other planes of focus and therefore can take action upon and create from this knowing." End of quote. We have received information that many of humanity are being targeted when they begin awakening to put them back to sleep. They experience a glimpse of reality then go back into unconsciousness. So, as the illusion continues to have, so the illusion can continue to have a food source. This is being done as the powers who were are running scared and desperate to remain their illusionary control. However, their time is up, and the incoming energy momentum will assist us in the revealing of this truth. The other information we have gathered is we have minions in the lightworker community who are acting as handlers to keep the illusion fed. Since we have received this information, both of these are being handled by love now. 
Love is on the move on planet Earth, equal heart. There are two ways now. One is on the downward spiral. The other of us, in the oneness energy, in service to love on this planet, are on the upward. Quoted from James Gillian. I hate to burst the bubble of many New Agers, but <clears throat> there's an inter interdimensional kind of war which is being acted out, as above, so below. The below is the gross, uneven disperse of wealth, the planned obsolence, the enslavement through dependency, the pollution and destruction of the environment, as well as the manipulation and mind control through various mediums. The above is the archons, the minions, who feed off the negative emotions, the pain, the suffering, sadness, sorrow, fantasies, and illusions. They have manipulated humanity through the network, which is filled with false dreams, the American dream, desires, wants, and needs, including the need for acceptance and approval by social consciousness through external means. These manufactured desires are all external and designed to keep everything external, trapping souls in the physical 3D reality. They focus on the first three chakras, survival, sex, and power, even using those close to you to hit you in the fourth chakra to take you out of love and into confusion, pain, and suffering. There is a story of Buddha's awakening where the Dark Lord uses fear, tsunamis, hordes of demon fires, and his own sexy daughters, his own wrath, all to pull Buddha from his center, to trap him back into the 3D reality he was transcending. This is happening on a grander scale because the minions are losing their battle with the fifth, sixth, and seventh dimensional beings, the very source itself. They are pulling out all the stops, using everything at their disposal to keep the awakening gods, which is you, trapped in believing the lie in the 3D reality, and that's all there is. And in this lies your security. Many are falling, going back to what they believe is security, trying to recreate the past, and completely sabotaging their awakening, their agreements with their higher selves, their spiritual families, and the very source itself. In some cases, those observing on high are just shaking their heads, almost in disbelief, at the self-sabotaging choices and actions carried out by wounded egos. These higher beings know soul evolution will not be stopped. The reactions to actions against universal law cannot be avoided. And try as it might, the wounded egos will experience the lessons no matter how hard they may be to get back on track with soul evolution and with spirit. These higher beings also know it is not the destiny of this earth to fall into the hands of the archons, the minions, nor be under the control of their network. You need to trust. Allow those who have chosen the path of the ego, the false security of the external, to have their lessons, no matter how hard it may be. It is time to practice loving detachment, set some firm boundaries, and be an example by refusing to participate in the dramas of those who have chosen to act in ways that are self-serving, impacting those around them, humanity and the earth in a negative manner. The ultimate power is love. Many will fall, even those closest to you. Yet now is the time to rise up. Oh. Yet now is the time to rise up to the new fifth dimensional energies rather than join those who have chosen the downward spiral. Know that this too shall pass. It is a process. Hopefully when it all gets sorted out, after some really hard lessons, you just might see those who fell on the other side of this shift. This will be those who are not seeking help choosing not to participate in the awakening and the healing process, and continuing with their ego driving their destiny to save themselves. We no longer have the luxury of dragging them along, nor should we. 
it is time to step out of the Minion network. Know, know it for what it is and realize it's on the way out. Know it will do everything in its power to create as much chaos, pain, fear, and suffering possible to maintain its sick little world. Hang out with and support the real way showers, the ones who are empowering you to make your own personal God-Spirit-Creator connection. Break the bonds of enslavement due to external means, the need for acceptance and approval outside of self, and attachments to people, places, and things. The old external 3D ways are coming to a close. The balance between internal and external, Christ consciousness, where God knows itself to be, man, woman, and man, woman know themselves to be gods, is coming and is here. It is time to flow with it, become it. In the days to come, trying to hang on to the past, the old ways, the old world will become the greatest insecurity and hold the hardest lessons. It is time for right living. It is time for right choices and right actions. Be well. End of quote. For those in the oneness energies, your activations to the higher grid are underway. In the months ahead, each month will become grander, more grander than the moment and month before, as love energy moves through the planet, just like the kundalini energy. Be present and go with the flow. Allow, accept, and embrace. Let all the illusion fade away so the real may enter. It's the end of the road for all egos. When the seed begins to grow, which was the ego, the seed is no more. Gaia Portal Update Spheres of light are released from Gaia portals at this time. As shells of old paradigms are cracked, spheres of light are released as well from individual beings. This may appear to some as an effervescence of light, appearing in regions formerly viewed as stagnant or neutral or dark. The effervescence of light spheres results from the release of ego pressure from individuals as well as cultures of all types throughout Gaia. Resting during periods of physical tiredness encourages ego shell cracking. End of quote. And quoted from Dennis. We are heading for a wondrous world of love and abundance. We should prepare and adjust ourselves to behavior that resonates with such a world. That is the work we have to do within. I think our Father, Mother, God will ring the bell at the moment enough of us agree on this, the perfect moment. So, are we ready? End of quote. Decreed by heaven. Big shifts are underway. The bell is ringing. All 12 million ground crew are getting into position for the next facet of this part of the divine plan. Peace, disclosure, and contact. This is the divine plan manifesting now on planet Earth equal heart. Remember, loves, we are not in a time linear schedule. We are in a divine one. Thank you for spreading these messages to others and keeping your hearts open and staying tuned in. And transmission and all love is unconditionally. We are so in love with humanity. Love the Galactic Free Press staff, humanity's Earth allies, and the First Contact ground crew team. We love you.